हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आईटी जंक्शन फॉर ऑल दिस इज सुनील एंड एज यूजुअल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सिनेरियो बेस्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर पार्ट 17 फर्स्ट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट राइट एस क्यूएल क्वेरी टू प्रिंट ऑल द फाइबोनाची नंबर्स अप टू फर्स्ट 10 नंबर्स सो वी हैव टू राइट अ फाइबोनाची सीरीज अप टू फर्स्ट 10 नंबर्स सो फर्स्ट व्हाट इज फाइबोनाची सीरीज it is a series of numbers wherein each number is the sum of preceding two numbers. If you consider the first number is 0 and second number is 1, third number will be the sum of the first and the second number that is 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. Then once again 1 plus 1 will be 2, 1 plus 2 will be 3, 3 plus 2 will be 5, 5 plus 3 will be 8 and this is how it will go on. Let's see how we can do this in SQL Server. We can solve this problem by using recursive CTE. So with recursive CTE, uh, we always start query with keyword with and after that I have given CTE table name as Fibonacci and after that as keyword. After that, I am going to write the base query or the anchor query. Here I have selected 0 as the first number, 1 as the second number and one as a step so this third column that a step will serve as a counter or loop for me so if i run this base or the anchor query we will get this result first number is zero second number is one and the counter or the step value is one now in the second step i am going to do union all with the recursive part so what i am doing in the recursive part i am selecting second number and then I am summing up second number plus first number and in the third uh, in the third column I am incrementing the value of step by one earlier the step value was one and in the second uh, in this in the second in the recursive part step plus one will be two and this all I am selecting for uh, from the CTE table five Nikki where step is less than 10 so this loop will go on till the value of a step becomes 10 and the this whole process will repeat for the counter equal to 10 so let's see what is uh, what is there in the cte table fibonacci so let's ignore this part now and we'll run select star from this cte table if I run this, I'll get this first number, second number and the step. So if you see the row number 1 is the result of the base or the anchor query. In this first number, I am displaying as 0. In the second number, I am displaying as 1. In the step, I am giving a value as 1. Now from the row number 2 to row number 10, the, uh, whatever the row has been returned that is all because of the recursive part so if you see in the second row i want this uh, uh, after zero i want one that's why i have given the second number over here and in the second number column i am incrementing the value second number plus first number so uh, if, if first number is zero and then one this zero plus one will make as one in this step, I am incrementing the value is 1, so it will become 2. And again, it will check whether the step's value is less than 10 or not. Since the value is 2, it will, go, uh, it will again go for another loop, wherein the second number now has been incremented and became 1. So it will come as 1. And after that, in the, in the second column, I am again in, I am summing up second and plus first number. So 1 plus 1 will give 2 and in, I will increase the value of a step plus 1 that will become 3. And again it will check whether 3 is less than 10. Again the statement is true and uh, it will again go on. So it will go on till it prints the, uh, all the val Fibonacci value till the counter becomes 10. So this is how we can solve this problem. So uh, now what the uh, our output table says that output should be in the one row with comma separated so what we can do 
will use string aggregate function and will pass the column first n number that is this column and I am going to segregate by comma within group order by first number as 5 and a key number from 5 and a key table. If I run this full piece of code, here you go, you got the 5 and a key numbers in the one row by comma separated values. So, this is how we can solve this 5 and a key series questions in SQL Server. That's all for this video. If you have liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and do like the uh, video in the YouTube. Thank you and thanks for watching.